So much for the blast from an atomic explosion. But what about the heat and flash of the detonation? The fireball is originally more than a thousand times as hot as the surface of the sun. It sends out heat like a huge oven from the very first instant of detonation, right along with the white light. This heat comes out very rapidly. As a matter of fact, you are burned in the first half second. In the half second it takes for our brains to tell our muscles, A-bomb, take cover, we have already been burned. But at one mile, which is pretty close to one of these gadgets, ordinary clothing will protect you. Keep your sleeves rolled down and wear a hat. Of course, if you're in the shaded portion of a foxhole at the time of detonation, you are perfectly safe from the heat of the bomb. Anything that casts a shadow will protect you. Now, how far away can you be burned? Generally, within three miles or so of ground zero. But the weather has a lot to do with burning. Cloudy, rainy, snowy, foggy days will give you greater protection from the heat. And so will a smoke screen. You've heard a lot about blindness from an atomic explosion. I'm sure that all of you have looked at the sun sometime during your lives. When you did, you got spots in front of your eyes. The blindness from the white light of an atomic explosion is a somewhat magnified version of these spots. These spots will go away, and so will normal flash blindness from an atomic explosion. And for you doubting Thomases who are recalling that we told you not to look at that white light, well, the three or four minutes of sight that you'd lose would prevent you from seeing that magnificent sight immediately afterwards.